everyone today I wanted to do another video I want to keep up with the trend of me doing videos and so I thought I would bring back a series that I started years 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 ago um, back when I was a blondie hell back when I had like really really long hair um, and those were my paranormal experiences vlog and I kind of just wanted to talk about different paranormal things not just my own experiences but things that happened in like my city and stuff like that just a kind of paranormal vlog and story time and stuff like that but since today I didn't really have um, anything planned I'm going to just talk about one of my experiences and it's probably one of the scariest experiences I've ever had and um, Basically, this is something that I like saw head on. Um, I don't care who you are or what you try to tell me. I know what I saw. So um, as a kid, I had really, really bad nightmares. I had to sleep with my mom well past, you know, the usual age that kids usually sleep with their parents until finally my mom was kind of like, you know what, you need to go into your own bed and start sleeping by yourself. And I, I would wake up terrified. like. Even if I didn't have a nightmare, if I woke up sometime in the middle of the night, I was just horrified. Like, I I don't know what it was, but I was always waking up scared beyond reason. And so, one time I woke up and I just, you know, I was dead scared. I didn't know why and all I wanted to do was run to my mom's room. So, I get out of bed, I exit my room and before I get to my mom's room it's across the hall and there's a big long hall and so I make the stupid 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 mistake of instead of just running directly into my mom's room I look down the hall into the darkness and in the darkness is a even darker darkness and it's just this long tall shape of a man and it's just a shadow with like a top hat kind of thing going on and that's all I see is like a silhouette of this like abnormally long man um skinny and just black like blacker than the darkness and I was just horrified and I run to my mom's room and I don't know if I told her that night or the day after. I remember drawing it for her the day after, but she remembers me talking to her about it. But other than like seeing it, it's still something that's in my brain to this day. I don't really remember much else. Um, but that's one of the only things that I do remember seeing and I actually have like a memory of seeing. Um, and the phenomenon of seeing shadow men and shadow people is not uncommon. That was the first detailed shadow man I ever saw. Um, I used to see shapes a lot as a kid when I would wake up in the middle of the night terrified. Um, sometimes, actually a lot of the times, I'd had sleep paralysis and I would watch things like shadow shapes come out of the floor. And I never saw a shape like turn into anything, you know, recognizable they were just kind of like formless blobs almost but that time I saw a man I saw a silhouette of a very abnormally long man and for a long time I just you know stopped thinking about those things I as I grew up I the fear never really left for like many many years I think I've only stopped waking up in absolute terror within the last year or two um, and I stopped like seeing things. I would always still feel like scared and whatnot. And it wasn't until like maybe three years ago or so I saw another shadow person. This time it wasn't a whole figure. It was like torso upwards and maybe it was a whole figure, but by the time I like crashed into it, it was like, I could only see like the torso and it was instead of being long and tall and skinny, it was kind of this really kind of masculine, broad-shouldered kind of shadow. And I remember walking to my room, and when I looked up, that's when I saw like about torso up, like coming at me. And as soon as we like hit, it like dissipated. And you know, I didn't see like, you know, special effects with all the smoke and stuff like that. I just, I just, as soon as it hit me, it was like gone, like. <laughs> 
and it was it was weird and it was scary and luckily as soon as that happened you know even though I was terrified and I didn't talk to anybody about it for the next couple of days after that collision I didn't feel anything anymore like I didn't feel like there was a scary presence around me or anything like that but at the same time you know that's startling and it was scary and so in my lifetime I've only actually seen two shadow men like that were actually shaped like men I have seen shadow shapes I see shadow shapes a lot not so much recently as I did as a kid um and I know I've seen them fairly recently I just can't pinpoint any exact examples that I have at the moment but my hallway um, I'm still living in the house that uh, my mother bought. Um, it's no, she's no longer living here, but that hallway is scary. And years, like even before I saw the shadow man, I never liked going in that part of the hallway where the shadow man was. And so um, that's that story. Um, but yeah, you can look it up. The phenomenon of seeing shadow people is not uncommon. Um, it's especially a common occurrence when people are in sleep paralysis. And um, I did not know this until finally, after years and years of pretending I never saw anything, I was like, you know, I'm going to look up, like, has anybody else seen Shadow Man? And the fact that it's, like, more common than I would have thought, like, just did the opposite of reassure me. Like... If I like looked it up and there was nothing, no, you know, what's it called? No stories on that kind of thing. I would have been like, oh, okay, you know, maybe I was seeing things. But no, apparently <laughs> it's a thing and it's scary and creepy. And um, so, yeah, if you want some like scary stories before going to bed, I would look that up because um, <laughs> it's not fun. So let me know if you guys had any Shadow Man experiences, what you think it is, um, if you do have any ideas. Um, I don't have any ideas on what I think it is or not, but I just know what I saw and that's that. So um, yeah, <laughs> have a spooky day. See you guys some other time.